Hey yogis, welcome to Sacred Lotus Yoga. I'm Sarah, and for today's practice, we'll be focusing on our core, the center of our body that supports our entire structure. Together, we'll work on strengthening and toning the muscles deep within our abdominal wall, which is integral for improving our posture and stabilizing our lower back. A yoga block or a thick book would come in handy today, but don't worry if you don't have anything to hand as I'll offer modifications throughout the class. So with all that said, roll out your mat and we'll begin. So we're gonna to begin today in tabletop. So make your way over to hands and knees. If you have your block, you can just pop it away to the side for the moment. We'll be using it later on. Let's so take a moment just to check your alignment in tabletop. So your wrists should roughly be in line under your shoulders and your knees are roughly in line under your hips. We're gonna begin moving through a few cat cows. Just to begin to open up the body, wake up the shoulders, the hips, right down into the core and through the spine. So as you inhale, we begin to drop the belly, lift the sitting bones high, loop the shoulder blades back, spiraling through the chest, looking forward. Exhale, begin to drop the gaze, looking towards the knees and peel your spine up towards the ceiling. So your lower belly draws in, you're dropping the head, dropping the gaze. Inhale, begin to drop the belly, locking forward, lying back, tree to cow. Exhale, begin to round through to cat pose. Drop the gaze, tilt the pelvis under as the spine begins to peel up towards the ceiling. Inhale, flow back, tree to cow. Drop the belly. And exhale once again. Back, tree to cat. And again, inhale, flow, tree to cat. Exhale, around the spine, drop the gaze. And gently make your way back to tabletop. Making your way into puppy pose from here, we're gonna walk the hands forward on the mat and begin to melt the chest, melt the heart space down towards the mat. You can rest your chin down into the mat or maybe your forehead if that's a little bit more comfortable for the neck. I'm gonna keep this quite an active puppy pose. So begin to come high up onto the fingertips as if you're trying to claw into the mat. You should feel a nice lift into the shoulders, into the armpits. So clawing into the mat, keeping the hips nice and high as we lengthen through the spine. And just gently begin to tuck the tailbone in should just intensify the stretch just a little bit deeper. I want to stay here for three more breaths. Inhaling full through the back body. And exhaling full. Inhale, send the breath down towards the hips. And exhale, release. Last breath. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. To come out of the pose, just begin to lift your head away from the mat, ground through both hands and walk the hands back in line under your shoulders. So from here, we're gonna to begin to extend the left leg towards the back of the mat. So we're staying in tabletop, we're extending the left leg towards the top of the mat and begin to lift the foot away from the mat. So we wanna keep our hips nice and level. We don't want to collapse into the lower back. So try to gently begin to tuck the tailbone under and you'll notice that your lower belly, your core will begin to engage. Just trying to find some support first here. Pressing into the heel. So you want to keep your left foot flexed. So your toes are peeling under and you're pressing into the heel. You should begin to feel the glutes begin to engage and fire up and the muscles in the belly waking up. If you feel you can take a little bit deeper and you have some support, begin to extend the opposite arms. You're extending through the right hand, really pressing through the left heel as you reach through the right fingertips. As if somebody's trying to pull you in either direction. So find your support, find your balance first. You should really begin to feel the body to straight away warm up. Gently pulse, inhale, reach the hand a little bit higher, 
reach the heel a little bit higher. And then as you exhale, draw the knee in, draw the elbow to meet it. So we're crunching in, we're squeezing everything in. Inhale, reach the arm back out, pulse at the top. Exhale, draw knee and elbow in. Once again, reach forward and pulse. Exhale, draw under. Five more. Reach forward. Inhale, pulse. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach forward, pulse. Exhale. Three more. Inhale, reach forward, pulse. And draw back in. Last two. Inhale, reach. Draw in. Inhale, reach and pulse. Draw in. Hold here and release. Good job. First side done. You should begin to straight away feel the body warming up. Just flow through a few cat cows here. Inhaling and exhaling. Dropping the belly and just rolling back up into cat pose. Just to shake out any stiffness, any tension before we move to the next side. So once you're ready, set yourself up. We're gonna to begin to extend through the right foot and begin to lift away from the mat. So you're pressing firmly into the right heel, heeling the toes under. Keep the hips nice and level. Remember not to collapse into the lower back, but keeping a nice, strong core. So working on building strength to support us to build our posture so we can hold ourselves a little bit better, true, standing just with the work of our posture so begin to extend the left arm away from the body as well so pressing firmly into the right heel reaching through the left fingertips inhale pulse exhale draw knee to elbow inhale reaching through pulse exhale squeezing in reaching forward Pulse, drawing back to five more. Inhale, reach forward, pulse, drawing back in. Four more, inhale, reach and pulse. Exhale, draw together. Inhale, reach and pulse. Exhale, draw in. Two more, reach and pulse. Squeezing in, last one, make it your best. Inhale, reach and pulse softly come in and rest down bring the big toes to touch send the hips towards the heels take a break rest your forehead down towards the mat and just notice how the lower belly feels the arms just let them have a break for a moment just feeling the body as it warms up Allowing each time we take a break, come down to child's pose, just to really sink in, connect with our breath. So we're not losing the work we're doing. We're using this chance, this opportunity to connect with our breath and focus on our pranayama. Inhale, make your way back up to your tabletop. We're gonna make our way into downward facing dog from here. So walk the hands slightly more forward, tuck the toes under, Lift the knees away from the mat, send the hips high towards the back of the room. So press into both hands evenly. Keep your knees as deeply bent. So we don't want to keep straight legs here and begin to hunch into the back. Keep your knees as deeply bent as you can to have a nice straight spine. Pressing the shoulders away from the ears and the hips are nice and high. Just going to begin to pedal out the legs, wake up, back to the legs and into the hips. So begin to drop, bend deeply into the right knee and straighten the left leg. Moving to the opposite one, bend into the left knee, straighten the right leg. So the right heel begins to fall towards the mat. Over to the next side, bend into the right, drop the left heel. Bending into the left, dropping the right heel. And just begin to move with your own breath, really feeling into the pose. Just noticing how the backs of the legs, 
how the hips feel. So we want to make sure when we work into these deep core poses that the body is nice and warmed up. So we're not going to do any damage, making sure that the body's ready. We're ready to go a little bit deeper into our practice. And then once you're ready, return to your normal downward facing dog. So either as knees bent or knees straight, just wherever you are in your practice. We're gonna to begin to extend the left leg up high towards the ceiling. So you're coming into a three-legged dog. Begin to open and stack the hips. So begin to lift the leg a little bit higher. So you begin to open into the hip. You can bend the left knee. So the knee begins point up towards the sky. If you need to pause and take a quick look at me, absolutely do. So instead of where we would normally keep the hips level, we're stacking the hips and opening them up. Exhale, square off the hips once again, point the toes back, draw the knee into the belly. We're gonna hover forward, bring the knee to meet the nose. So your shoulders will come line over your elbows. Exhale, lengthen through the leg, back to our three-legged dog. Inhale, draw the knee back into the belly. Bring it over to the left elbow. So maybe touches, maybe just gets there. Exhale, reaching back. This time, draw the knee into the belly, bringing it over towards the right elbow. And then extending back, lovely. This time, I'm going to bring a little bit more challenging, draw it into the belly, hover forward. We're going to hold here for three breaths. If you need to drop down or drop that leg down towards the mat, absolutely do. Take it to your own level. Exhale and bring your leg back down towards the mat. Coming back into our downward facing dog. Shake out the hips or maybe you want to take a brief moment in child's pose. Just to allow yourself to reconnect, to recenter with the breath. Once you're ready, we're going to make our way back into downward facing dog if you're not already there. Once you're there, begin to extend the right leg away from you. Begin to open the hip, point the toes really high, bend into the knee. Just sending the right knee up towards the ceiling. Pressing into the hands, pressing the weight of the body towards the back of the room. Bring that knee into the belly, hover forward. Knee comes towards the nose. Exhale, extend through the leg. Lovely. Knee comes back into the belly, over towards the right elbow. Brilliant, send it back. This time, knee into the belly, over towards the left. And send it back. Don't worry if you need to take breaks throughout. It's totally fine. Bring the knee into the belly. And hover forward. We hold here for three breaths. Three. Two. And one. Bring the leg back. Point the toes. Drop the right foot down onto the mat. This time everyone drop down onto your knees. Big toes touch. Send the hips towards the heels and rest your forehead. A well-deserved child's pose. And just begin to shake the hips left to right. So trying to imagine the hips becoming heavy. So you're sinking them deeper towards the heels. If they're nowhere near the heels, don't worry. Just imagining but they're sinking deeper. Just rocking the hips side to side. Just actively getting them a little bit, a little bit lower. As you move into our joints, we find more space. Inhale. Begin to make your way back up to tabletop. You want to realign here, so you want to bring your body a little bit higher up towards the top of the mat. A little bit more forward up so you can extend the foot and your foot is still on the mat just for more support we're going to make our way from here into supported side plank so we'll all start off together with one level and i'll show you different variations once we're in the pose so we're going to begin to 
pivot on the right leg. So you kick the right foot out away from the mat. Begin to extend the left foot. So the corner edge of the foot is pointing down towards the short edge of the mat. Bring your right hand in line under your shoulder. If you need to take a look at me first before you go into the pose, absolutely do. So we're here in a supported side plank and begin to extend through the left fingertips. Lovely, if this feels like enough, this is a great pose. We're doing so much work here. If you feel you can take a bit of a challenge today and you wanna go into full side plank, brilliant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to begin to extend the right leg down towards the side of the mat, readjust if you need to. So the full var variation of the pose is to have one foot stacked on top of the other. If this is a little bit much, you can rest one in front of the other. So wherever you wanna be, begin to lift the hips a little bit higher and extend through the fingers. The gaze goes up or down, wherever you feel you wanna be. Breathe and stay for five. Three, and two, and one. Lovely, good job. Release wherever you are. Press back into downward facing dog. Shake out the hips. Lovely. So good job, whatever level you went to. It's a really hard pose, but it really works deep into the core, building strength through the whole body. So when you're ready, we'll set ourselves up like we did the last time. I'm just gonna change sides on the mat just to show you this different side. So we begin to kick the left leg out towards the back of the room and begin to send the right leg along on the mat. Inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the ceiling and just take a moment to check that your left hand isn't too high or too far under. Try and keep it in line under the shoulder, it's for more support. So we're not gonna do any damage into the joints. Reach the right fingertips high towards the ceiling. Either stay here, great, or take a little bit deeper. Whatever level you wanna go to. I lift those hips a little bit higher. Tuck the tailbone under, draw the lower belly in. Bring your gaze to where you need to. And stay here for five breaths. Such a strong pose. Wherever you are, you're doing great. Well done. Three, two, and one. Lovely, gently release down. Drop down this time onto the knees. Send the hips towards the heels. And rest yourself back down into your child's pose. Shake the hips side to side. And just notice if the hips are starting to go a little bit deeper towards the heels and maybe the pose is just getting a little bit more comfortable, you're finding more space in the body. And gently begin to look up towards the top of the mat. We're going to make our way into a forearm line from here. And we'll take it to whatever level we need to. So we'll start out with the knees down on the mat. So come down onto your forearms as if we're gonna come into Sphinx pose. So you want your elbows in line under your shoulders. If you want to keep your knees on the mat, brilliant, absolutely do. And from here, if you wanna take it deeper, we're gonna to begin to lift the knees away from the mat. So as if we're gonna come in to a normal plank pose where we're staying high on the forearms. Sometimes it's better, it can be a little bit easier if you interlace the fingers. It just gives you a little bit more support, something to hold on to, or a little bit more challenging, rest the palms down, or stay with the knees, rest on the mat. Up to you, depends on your level. So wherever you are, stay into your forearm plank, making sure that you're tilting the pelvis under so the hips aren't too high, pressing to both hands, holding yourself here. Stay with your breath. Building strength through the arms. And strength into the muscles, into the core. Support.
supporting your entire body. Stay for three more breaths. And gently begin to lower. Releasing down into Sphinx. Roll the shoulder blades back, looking forward. Loop the shoulder blades away from the ears. And just allow the belly to rest towards the mat. Looking forward. Such a lovely pose to do after forearm plank. Just to stretch out the muscles of the belly. Allow the lower back to release and soften. Just give the body a bit of a break. And gently when you're ready, begin to place one hand on top of the other and rest the forehead down onto the hands. And just wiggle the hips side to side, releasing any stress or tension that you might be holding on to. Gently begin to release the hands away from under the head. You can just lift the head up. From here, we're going to come into locust pose. We're going to engage through the legs and really draw the tailbone under like we did before. So bring your hands, first of all, down along the body. You can rest your forehead back down onto the mat. Begin to really engage through the legs and press into the feet. So as firmly as you can, so you're pressing as if your toes are trying to press towards the back of the room. As this means you pull onto your legs. And once you do, you'll engage the knees. You'll notice that the knees begin to lift away from the mat and draw your tailbone under. So you're trying, trying to press down onto the pelvis, down into the mat. And as you do, once the legs begin to hover away from the mat, begin to lift your shoulders, your head, your chest away from the mat, keeping everything drawn towards the back of the room. So you're pressing firmly through the arms, through the legs. Is this somebody's trying to pull onto your body, pulling you towards the back of the room, pressing your pelvis deep into the mat, tucking the tailbone under, and shooting the energy through the body, keeping strong, keeping engaged. Stay here for three more breaths. And then gently and softly. Release everything down to the mat. Rest down onto the left ear. Allow the shoulders to soften. And allow the muscles in the belly, let them to let go for a moment. Let's take a moment here. Releasing and reconnecting with your breath. Bring hands either side of the shoulders. Press yourself up. We're going to make our way back into our child's pose. So hips come back towards the heels, forehead down towards the mat, and shake the hips once again. So even though we seem like when you're resting here in child's pose, you're just beginning to bring more space into the hips. And getting a gentle massage of the belly with our knees. And here we'll make our way onto our backs. Gently begin to look towards the fingertips. Come up off the hips. Also over the ankles. And sit your way through. Coming over to lying on our backs. Keep your feet planted onto the mat. If you have a block or a book, be a good time to grab it now. We begin just by drawing the knees in towards the belly. Hug both legs in, you can just rock side to side. Just plant both feet down onto the mat. We're just gonna start out with a bridge pose, just to begin to build, bring a little bit more heat into, the, into our core, into our bellies. If they're not already feeling engaged enough, they'll just bring a little bit more. So rest the hands down onto the mat, walk the heels in towards the body, 
so you can almost graze your heels with your fingers. Knees are in line over your ankles and you're going to press firmly into both feet. So as you exhale, begin to tilt the pelvis away. So you'll notice the lower spine will begin to peel away from the mat. And inhale, begin to tilt the pelvis back towards the body. So the spine imprints fully down onto the mat. Tilt the pelvis forward and tilting the pelvis back. So we're going to sync up these movements with your breath. Just tilting forward and back. And we gently bring movement into the lower spine. And we warm up the muscles in the belly and the core. If they're not already warmed up enough, just bringing more and more heat, keeping the movement, keeping the awareness, the intention, and building that strength that supports your whole body. The center, the point of our body that holds us in place. Now, this time, as we tilt the pelvis back towards our face, we begin to lift the hips away from the mat and make your way into your first bridge pose. So the hips come high, lifting away from the mat. And shooting the energy down through the knees, you're pressing to both feet evenly, and you're lifting the hips up a little bit higher as your pelvis tilts under and you engage through the glutes. And gently begin to lower one vertebrae at a time back down towards the mat. It's so the last thing to come down onto the mat are your hips and tilt the pelvis forward. So the lower spine peels away, tilt the pelvis back. Once again, lift up into our bridge pose. This time, see if you can lift the hips even higher. So maybe you begin to come up off the shoulder blades, press into the feet, Send that energy shooting down through the body. The glutes are engaged. You're feeling the core warm up. Even the legs are doing a lot of work here. Gently begin to lower. One vertebrae at a time. Softly, gently release down. So the spine fully plants onto the mat. Pelvis tilts forward. Pelvis tilts back, bridge once again. Last one, so we're gonna see if we can take it even higher. So maybe you just lift the hips a little bit higher this time, squeezing into the glutes, or maybe you begin to bring the hands onto the body, interlace the fingers so you come high up onto the shoulders. Still engaging through the glutes, into the core, tilting that pelvis, pressing into both feet, Shooting that energy through the body. Stay with your breath. Don't forget to breathe. Use your breath as your guide to hold you in these poses. And gently, if your arms are engaged, begin to release the fingertips and gently lower the spine fully onto the mat. Tilt the pelvis forward. Hug the knees into the body. Good job. Just gently shake the hips left to right. Let it go of any tension in the glutes. And then when you're ready, we're going to grab our block. We're going to begin to bring it in between both knees. We're going to begin to engage and squeeze into the knees. If you don't have the block, we can do the exact same pose. But we're just going to imagine that we're squeezing the legs in towards the center line. We want to keep them hip width distance apart keeping them deeply and firmly engaged. So if you do have your block, we rest it in. Do you want to keep it? So the thin side is between the legs, so not the thick side, but the thin side. Lovely. So begin to bring the knees out in line over the hip points. So we're coming into reverse tabletop. Begin to flex the feet and now begin to squeeze into the box. So we're squeezing the legs as in we're holding onto that block for dear life. Rest your hands down onto the mat, squeezing. You might begin to feel the legs begin to shake. Notice your lower back. Try and keep the lower back engaged. So we're tucking the pelvis under. 
So we're engaging through the core, we're not collapsing into the low back. Squeezing. Begin to point the toes. We're going to come into some toe taps from here. As you exhale, begin to drop the toes towards the mat. And inhale, draw back up. Exhale, drawing down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dip the toes. Inhale, coming back up. And again, exhale. Down, inhale, back up. Begin to move with your own breath. Squeezing that block in between both legs. Working deep into the core, into our lower belly. Trying to keep a lower back from peeling away from the mat too much. It'll want to peel away. Just try and go only to your level. If you notice that it's coming up way too much, just take a little bit less. Don't go as deep. Stay for three more little toe taps. And the last one, wherever you are, draw the knees back up, remove the block and hug the knees back into the body. You can just begin to extend the knees. So keep the hands gripping onto the knees and just allow them to drop away from the body. And just rest here just for a moment. Maybe close the eyes. Allow the muscles of the belly just to take a quick break. That was before we move into the next pose. So this is the last challenging pose that we're going to do in this series. And then we're going to begin to work on softening the muscles. So last one, so really try and connect. Try and stay with it. As we exhale from here, try and keep that engagement as we just did with the block, leaving the blocks inside. We're going to begin to extend the legs long and extend the arms up overhead on our exhale. So I'll show you first, as you exhale, you extend. Full. Inhale, draw back in. Now, the lower you keep your legs to the mat on the exhale, the deeper the pose is. Remember, like we did before, try to keep the spine, the lower back flat on the mat as possible. Don't, we don't want to do any damage. Take hold of the knees. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, draw back in. Exhale. Inhale, drawing back in. Exhale, inhale, draw back in. Exhale, inhale, good job, keeping it up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, only a few more to go. Exhale, extend, inhale, releasing in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, release in. Last one. Exhale, extend. And we're going to hold here for three breaths. Three, two, one. Draw in. Good job. Hug the knees in towards the body. Squeezing in. Rock side to side. Giving your belly, your legs, your arms a nice, well-deserved hug. Really intense work on the core, on the glutes, the arms, through the whole body. So well done and good job. Maybe draw circles with the knees. Just rocking, releasing any tension. Now, plant your feet back onto the mat. If you have your thick book or your block, we're going to bring it and rest it under the hips. So just under and towards the tailbone. So just come into a supported bridge pose from here. If you don't have a block or a book, it's fine. You can just stay resting down onto the mat. But from here, if you have the block, you can either stay with the feet firmly planted on the mat, drop the knees in towards each other, or begin to extend the legs long, point the toes away, walk them as wide as the mat, and drop down, extend the arms long away from the body, palms face up. If you don't have the block underneath you, that's fine, you can still be in this pose. 
This one just gives you a little bit more elevation to the hips, just to really drop the weight out of the core. So if you're here or wherever you are, just begin to switch off for a moment. Just begin to notice the muscles in the belly as they soften. And slow the breath down. If your heart rate's increased, it's going to begin to try and bring it a little bit more slow, a little more steady and controlled. Breathing deep into the belly. And as you exhale, soften completely. We spend so much of our time, I think it's instilled in most people, men and women, to suck their belly in. So you spend most of your time, even if you're sitting, if you're in a resting position, you spend most of the day engaging with the muscles in our belly. We're so overworked. It can be really nice just to actively let go, like with awareness and full consciousness, to completely release and soften and not care that sucking in the belly. And then begin to walk the feet back in towards the body. And just lift the hips slightly to remove the block away. You need to twist here just to release the lower back muscles. Walk the hands nice and wide. Walk the feet a little bit wider on the mat and just drop the knees as they are to the right. If you want to take it deeper, you can always bring the right foot to rest on top of the left knee. Bit of a deeper twist. Soften the muscles of the belly. Allow the belly to become really heavy. As we find length, as we soften and passively stretch. Gently unwind the feet, bring the knees back to centre and just drop them over towards the opposite side. And if you rested the left foot on top of the right leg, that's a little bit more depth. Just go a bit deeper into the hip. And just allow everything to become heavy and soft. Unwind the feet, walk back up onto the mat. Just going to bring a big toes to touch, or soles or feet to touch even, and just drop the knees. It's going to butterfly legs from here. Drop the knees nice and wide. This is uncomfortable. You can always just extend the legs nice and long. Bring your hands to the lower part of your belly, down towards your core. Nestle the shoulder blades under the body. And completely. Relax the body. Feel the breath flowing to the lower part of the belly. This presses the hands away. Noticing the inhale and the exhale. Let each exhale soften and release more. And you can stay here with the legs as they are or make your way into your fastener. It's more comfortable for you. Extend the legs long. But I ask you just to, for this shavasana, just keep your hands rest on your belly. Just to thank ourselves for working so deep into our core. As we strengthen our muscles, we support our lower back, we build our posture. Thank you very much for joining me for today's class. I hope you're feeling nice and awake and ready for whatever 
your day or your evening has to come. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.